today I am going to be sharing my top five tips for keeping your hair healthy. Um, I'm really excited about this because I always get questions about my hair, so I'm really happy to share um, five ways that I keep my hair healthy. I do uh, color treat my hair with bleach, which is really harsh on your hair, so it's really important to me to um, do some things to keep it healthy and sort of revert the damage that I'm doing with the bleach. So if you guys are interested in learning how to keep your hair healthy, then keep watching. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to talk about is deep conditioner. I feel like a lot of people actually neglect this part of their hair care routine. So the way that I think about deep conditioner is it's basically a face mask for your hair. And I know a lot of people do face masks, maybe even more than once a week, and um, there's a lot of hype about face masks, and I love face masks. But I feel like our hair needs that love just as much as our face does, and everybody um, doesn't really follow through with that. So if you guys aren't already using a deep conditioner once once a week, I would definitely recommend doing that. I have been loving this Aussie three minute miracle. This is a great deep conditioner because it's super easy to use, it's very quick, and it's affordable. Okay, so basically what you do is you shower, you wash your hair, and once it's clean, you put this in for three minutes, and you can like shave your legs if you wanna stay in the shower, you could paint your toenails, you could hop out and answer emails, whatever you wanna do. Um, I like to do a little multitasking, but um, after the three minutes, you just rinse it out, and then your hair is going to be rejuvenated and shiny and just so much healthier looking and it's gonna be so happy that you gave it some love so um, yeah you can get this at pretty much like every drugstore and uh, market whatever so I would definitely recommend this one because it's affordable and easy so if you guys are in the market for a deep conditioner um, look this up okay and then another way that I keep my hair healthy is with non heat styling which I'm going to explain in a little bit of a weird way. So like today I curled my hair with a heat tool and what I'm gonna do is keep these curls for a few days. So that's not totally heatless styling. Yeah, I'll curl my hair and then I'll use those curls for like three days without curling my hair again, which I feel like definitely saves some damage. So like if you really wanna curl your hair or straighten it or blow dry it or whatever, I would just recommend letting that style last as many days as you can so that you don't have to do heat damage to your hair every single day. And then if you really want to do like no heat at all, usually what I do in that situation is a slicked back top knot. So I'll just take my hair and if you want to put like product in it to keep it all like um, flat with no flyaways, that's totally fine. But yeah, I will just like pull it all up and smooth it all out and then just wrap it into a bun. And that is a go-to hairstyle for like the worst hair days ever. So like if your hair is super greasy or like super frizzy or I don't know, if you just have no time at all, it's a really like sleek, easy way without any heat. Um, so that's definitely a go-to. Another fun thing that I do to keep my hair healthy is I've implemented scrunchies instead of like an, a normal elastic hairband. So what I love about this is that scrunchies are actually totally back in style. Um, you can find them pretty much anywhere because they're totally in right now and they're super cute. So if like what you're wearing goes with the scrunchie vibe, then I would say use the scrunchie every time. Um, sometimes what I'm wearing doesn't match the scrunchie vibe, so I do use elastic still, but as much as possible I use scrunchies. So like. When I wash my face, I use a scrunchie. Um, when I work out, I use a scrunchie, especially for like working out and running. If you use a like soft scrunchie instead of an elastic, it's going to be so much better for your hair than like that pulling tight tension that's just gonna cause damage and breakage. So use it as much as you possibly can. And um, yeah, just like have fun with it and experiment because they're actually so cute. And if you're wearing the right kind of outfit, it matches perfectly. So that's a pro tip. Okay, so some of you may not like this next tip because I know we all get really attached to our hair, but a way to keep your hair healthy is to give it a healthy chop. So recently I cut like all of my hair off. No, just kidding. It's not that dramatic. Um, but I cut a lot of hair off. I will put a before picture up here. I feel like my hair is so much healthier since then because if you think about it, the hair that you're not chopping off for years and years is 
just really old, dead, damaged hair. So I would say not every time you go to get your hair cut, like a trim is fine most of the time, but if you could manage to give it like a one inch to an inch and a half chop like twice a year, your hair is going to feel so much healthier and I think you'll be really happy that you did it. It's hard to part with your hair because it takes a long time to grow out and stuff. I totally get that, but it's really good for your hair and healthy hair looks better than long hair. Or you could be like drastic and take off like six inches like I did. I was honestly just wanted change. Like I was over having super long hair and I love the shorter hair. So whatever way you want to look at it, however drastic or conservative you want to be, I think it's a really good idea to give your hair like a decent chop every once in a while at least. So the last tip that I'm going to give you guys is about diet. And I'm sure as you all know, your diet reflects your overall appearance. So your weight, your health, your beauty, it's all going to show from your diet. And I think that sometimes people overlook the fact that your diet could be negatively affecting things like your hair. So if you're eating junk food, like a ton of sugar and a ton of like processed, fatty, fried, whatever, like you know, junk food, the stuff that's not good for you. I don't have to explain it, you guys know. But um, yeah, if you're eating a ton of that stuff, like your hair is not getting the nutrients nor is the rest of your body, so don't do that. <laughs> Um, and things like your hair, your nails, your skin, all of that loves healthy nutrients. So if you're eating like a lot of fruit and a lot of vegetables and a lot of whole, organic, healthy foods, your hair, your skin, your nails, your weight, everything is going to look better. So if you want your hair to be healthy, I would definitely say you need to be implementing healthy things in your diet. Drink a ton of water, hydrate your hair, your skin, your body. But yeah, so just keep in mind that what you're eating does affect your hair. So that's pretty much all of the tips that I have for you guys for now. Um, these are all super easy, doable things that you can implement into your schedule, your lifestyle, everything. So I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions for me, you can follow me on Instagram, DM me, you could email me, write me on my blog, drop a comment below here, whatever. So yeah, and I will be back with more soon.